Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Gavin and Stacey. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoyed the first episode, dude. It's crazy that Nessa is pregnant and it's most likely Smitty's. As I said, I don't know what the dude's gonna do. I'm not sure how he's gonna break it to his girl. Then not only he cheated on her, but he got another chick pregnant. Gonna suck. There are a lot of names dropped in the previous episode, as I said, that I didn't know who they were. There's a few names I recognize, like Sharon Osbourne and stuff, but they dropped a lot of names. But quite a few people told me they're gonna bring up a lot of pop culture like references of that time that I'm most likely gonna miss. And I try to look up some of the stuff after the episode, then I also rely on you guys to explain it in the comments below. Somebody asked if I recognize her uncle that he's on What I Lie to You. I believe I mentioned I recognized him in the first or second episode. I can't remember. And I said it at the end or the beginning, or I thought it. I don't know. I haven't went back to watch my commentary at the end or the beginning, but I, I believe I mentioned it. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I did realize it's the host from what I lie to you. But yeah, man, previous episode was really good. I really enjoyed it. I'd say my favorite scene was a priest flipping out because Gavin won't pick a sandwich. That was great. And the dad making the mom suffer alone because of her lie about being a vegetarian. That was funny as well. I'd say that was my two favorite scenes. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump into this, folks, and we will talk about it more at the end. What does this so do? So how many do? people go when? I don't know. Nine? Ten? Smithy's organizing it, isn't he? I'm so worried. What if you meet someone else? How? Who? Anyway, what about you? You're all going out in Cardiff just as schoolgirls. I know. Well, just tell me you're not going to have sex with a lap dancer. What? Just mm. say, I'm not going to have sex with a lap dancer. I won't, I promise. Say yet. I'm not going to have sex with a lap dancer. Hi, Carol. What's <laughs> Carol? <laughs> Look, would you feel better if I will phone? with the hooker? Well, Smithy said no phones. I know, but if it'll make you feel better. Oh, thanks, B. No worries. And if it goes to voicemail, it's probably because I'm having sex with a lap dancer. Say it now, quickly. No. Go on. No. Please, just whisper it. It's always been you, Camilla. <sighs> Mum, you see my wax? Oh, what no. Gavin, <laughs> what's with the food? <laughs> we ain't sticking around here. We're going straight no. out. Gavin, you've got to line your stomachs. Toga party, is it? What? Nah. I'm going to try to get it on. A minute. Keep him downstairs, will you? There's a cab pulling up. Hey, that'll be signing. Chinese. Yeah! <laughs> Why is it called Chinese, Alan? Biffy, man, you've got like no standards, like zero standards. How do you mean? Well, you'll go with anyone. I think you could be right, you know. <laughs> Honestly, I can't think of a single woman who wouldn't let give me a little nosh. Right. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Go on, name one, any woman. <clears throat> Anne Whittaker. Why not? <laughs> All right, Nadia from Big Brother. Bring it on. But she's Ooh. a bloke. Shut your eyes, great pair of Babylons. Who am I to quibble? Oh. Jeanette Cranky. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Jeanette Cranky. Oh. Seriously, I would love to have a go on Jeanette Cranky. No. Not in the uniform, as long as she doesn't do the voice. We oh. both do it standing up. <laughs> <laughs> no stag parties, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Damn, dude. You tell me that we're in the back of the line. You saw us all wearing the same shirt. Oh my god, I remember some of you playing non stop when I was in junior high. Like every car, every party, everything had that song going, freaking thong song. That's what we plan, dude. I really like your mate. Is it fingers? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's gay. He's gay. Ah, uh, they bought this cock block. Very, very gay. I love how the frame switch and then it switch over and that gas is right next to him. Smithy, come on. Shut up. Smithy. What are you doing with that? We'll have it tomorrow. Smithy. Smith, drop it. Smithy. Smith. Nice one, Jesus. What did I Shut do? Up. What did I Shut do? Up. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> did I do nothing? I just love him so much. Smithy, so dramatic. And I know what you're all thinking. But now, I know what love is. It's gone. Oh. oh my Stacey. god, look at that whip crate. <laughs> oh, she is Don't wild. But to be honest, at the end of the day, when all said and done, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
They are tore up. God bless Cup of tea, Bryn. I won't. Actually, Gwen, I just had a skinny wet latte at Costa's. Uh, I've been to town, see? Bought myself a suit. Why? I told you, you're wearing the same as Gavin and the ushers. Tell it to the hand, girlfriend. Not for the wedding, for the stag. I mean, we've had the hen. Stag must be just round the corner. Oh, no. I looked in the wardrobe and I thought, there's nothing in here to keep up with those young guns. Fawn it is. Swish. Cost That's going to hurt as well. Rest. But it's Gavin Stag, and I think he's worth it. So, when is it? What? We're just telling the truth. Babe, I'm not having another stag tonight. I can't. Please, Gav. You'll be heartbroken. He's bought a suit and everything. Gavin, don't worry. She's explained everything, and I think your friends are a shower of shit. Damn. Sorry you hear that. That's all right, Bren. But it makes me so cross to think of this smashing-looking boy not getting a proper stag do. It's OK. I didn't want one anyway. I won't believe a word of it. Now, I am picking you up a seven. We're going straight down the dolphin for a right good knees up. Me cockney spara. <laughs> this is a whack. <laughs> She's having a miserable time. <laughs> What's the deal with you two? Stacy said something about a fishing trip. Smithy! There he is. Over here. All right. All right, Bryn. There he is, the best man. Now, let me say my piece before we get started. You, young man, are a disgrace. What kind of best man doesn't organize a stag for the groom? Oh, shit. This poor chap, he's not known where to turn. Because you have been filling his head with all sorts of nonsense about him not needing one. I shouldn't have to organize all this tonight. I oh, know. I'm out of order. <laughs> Apology accepted. We'll say nothing more about it. Now, oh, if he's on, I'll off. get you a drink. What's your poison? Beer. Cheers, thanks. Hey, get those antlers on you. Don't talk to me. So I gotta spend every minute with them, share a room and everything, but no funny business. Yeah, yeah. it's difficult. I'd marry Annika Rice. Are we talking Pam St. Clements as herself or as Pat Butcher? Pat, Pat Butcher. Butcher. Right, that changes everything. Because I don't think I could sleep with her. But on the other hand, I don't think I could spend a year with Davina McCall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's having a good time. And the thing is, he don't even have a dog. I don't even like him! You remind me of my friend, Roy. You get yourself in a pickle, but somehow, you always wriggle out of it. <laughs> Dead now, Roy. Killed himself. Jumped off the top of Morrison's. Hey, way to break it down, buddy. <laughs> Who's for another drink? <laughs> I'll get these. I'm having a whale of a time. Gavin is Stacey's fiance. They are getting married exactly one week from today. <laughs> well, at least you set the date, mate. That's further than most they bring. No, 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 no. Well, when we were engaged, Terrible we never got to that find out. You were engaged to Stacey? My Stacey? Stacey, Stacey West. West? Yeah. I was uh, number four. You must be one. Number six. Jesus. Hey? Where's Smithy with those drinks, eh? I just had a drink with your ex fiance. Oh, my God. How do you think I feel, Stace? Was it Clifford? No. Leighton? No. How well? No, oh, what? You're making it worse. He's moved to Swindon. He's home to see his mum. She had her appendix out. Oh, look, don't stand there. Come in and talk. No, I ain't stopping. Well, where are you going? I don't know. I don't know anything, do I? I don't even know who you are. I'm going to be marrying you a week today. That's a joke. Oh, come on. You're overreacting. Am I? I didn't tell you because I knew it would look worse than it was. I might have been engaged six times, but I've only been in love once, and that's with you. How can I believe that? You know, we've been treating it like this is the first time for both of us. Really exciting in that. But you've done it all before. No! Five times! Five times, Stacey! And now I'm just doubting everything. Maybe it is too soon. Maybe Smithy's right. No, you're just talking rubbish. I've been thinking about it a couple of days now. Maybe it is all too quick. No, don't you tell. Maybe we should put the brakes on, postpone the wedding for a bit. Or just call it off. That's what you want, I don't it? know. Yeah. Maybe. You want to postpone our wedding because of things that happened before I even knew you? Before we'd even met? I love you so much. I love you! But this... This is just ridiculous. 
Gav. See ya. Gavin, please don't go! Gavin! Tell me Jesus Christ. What well, a shit way to find out, man. Ah, uh, I've been waiting for it to happen ever since she mentioned that she had five other like engagements. I'm like, yo, when is this dude gonna find out? And when he does, it's gonna be shit. And he found out from her ex. God bless him. The uncle didn't make it any better. She didn't make it any better, like naming all of them off. Sorry guys, I was looking away a lot because I was having some technical problems over here, man. I'm looking at my screens and stuff, and like my audio was like glitching. And over here, the screen down here was like blank and going in and out. Yeah, dude, it's a good episode, man. Nessa being pregnant has not slowed her down at all. I love when the scene just switched for a second and came back and like she's already standing up by the stripper and standing. This guy put whipped cream on the shock. And then they go back to the girl. She has whipped cream on side of her mouth. <laughs> That's as wild, bro. I thought Stacy was gonna do something that she would regret, like the stripper was gonna, like, I don't know, put his whipped cream junk in her mouth or something, and one of the girls gonna take a picture, and then Gavin's all pissed off because she's touching a stripper, and she asked him not to do anything with, like, a lap dance or get off with a lap dance or something like that. So I thought she was gonna get so drunk and then screw up. So I felt like it might go. Then I thought, like, wait a minute, that'll just about end the relationship, and the show has a few seasons, so I doubt that's gonna be the case. So I, I took, I tossed that out, but I still thought something was gonna go wrong with the stripper, though. I said, something's gonna go freaking south. They know what's south was Gavin, me, her ex, man. And I'm said it's not a conspiracy theory or anything but she just thought it would be best if you didn't know like dude that's not making it any better and he, he said he's been thinking about it for a couple days now you know there's hesitancy on both sides when it comes to like marriage and stuff like that dude so can't really judge the guy for being hesitant and thinking like is this too soon i'm moving too fast should we get to know each other a little bit more i think most people think about that kind of stuff before they try to lock things down to get married and such and by him bringing up in a moment I'm like dude why would you do that like why would you bring up that part because now that's probably all she's gonna focus on like you're already thinking about leaving me anyway and this is just a reason to do so you're bringing up stuff that happened in the past that doesn't really matter today but as you said, you're already thinking about it anyway, so you're just using this as an excuse. At least that's what it looks like now to me when he says that. He should have just kept it at, dude, you lied to me. How is it okay for me to tell you everything about me and then you lie about something that's so big, like being engaged five times? Like, that's a big deal. Like, how do I know that it's not going to be different for us? Like, how do I really know that it's different? How do I know you're not lying? You know, maybe you felt the same way you feel about me with these other guys. Then all of a sudden, you just don't want to do it anymore. Like, I'm taking a bigger risk kind of thing. So I definitely see where he's coming from. And I don't think he should have brought up the whole I was thinking about it already thing. Oh! Oh, drama 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 really curious about what happened on the fishing trip I'm guessing it's something small because uncle is so like you know like square he's kind of like a like a dork so I, I, it couldn't have been anything too big could have been I'm, I'm guessing something really small and things just got blew out of proportion somehow and now he doesn't want to talk about it so it had to be something goofy all right folks man this is a good episode hopefully you guys have a fantastic day hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy I'll see you in the next one later